BC Outdoor Sport Fishing TV is brought to you by Yamaha, Rapala, Maple Ridge Chrysler, Lawrence, Duncan Lodge, Port Boathouse, BC Outdoors Magazine, and Mayhem Fly Fishing. Welcome everybody to BC Outdoor Sport Fishing. Oh, we got a special guest, Tony. Welcome to the show. Thank you. I think we've known each other since I've been in the industry. Yeah, it's been a long this time. Our, it's 20 years plus, I yeah. would say. This yeah. is our first time actually getting out on a boat. Can you believe it? That's good. I'm yeah. excited. Yeah, I'm it excited. Be it should be good. Um, so let's let's talk about a couple things, like where we are, uh, your business, and then what we're going to be doing. Right? Yeah. So we're your BC Sport Fishing Group. Yeah. Uh, we're throughout the valley. We've got 17 boats, uh, wow. give or take, on any given year. Yeah. Uh, we focus on sturgeon fishing, we do some salmon fishing, cutthroat trout, bull trout, just depends on the time of year. Yeah. Sturgeon is what we're known for. Yeah. And our office is in the Harrison Hot Springs Resort and Spa, yeah. which is uh, it's a beautiful resort community. Yeah. Yeah. Our boats are you know right in front of the hotel, so you, you stay at the resort, you enjoy the hot springs, yeah. and then you head out on the water. Yeah. So It's, a, it's a, about 25 steps from the sidewalk over. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, pretty, it's, not, pretty it's not too bad, no boat towing convenient. or... So if people want to get here, so let's let our viewers know, because we've got some viewers down the States, where's Harrison Hot Springs? Harrison Hot Springs is about 90 minutes east of Vancouver, British okay. Columbia. Yeah. 30 minutes from Chilliwack. Okay. Or most of our Alberta guests, they would fly in from, say, Calgary, Edmonton, yeah. into Abbotsford. Yeah. And then it's about an hour and a half, or okay. an hour, just over an hour, actually, yeah. here. And Harrison so. Lake is a big body of water. Very big body of yeah. water. It's 42 miles long. Yeah. Um, it's over 900 feet deep, so yeah. it's a very big... Uh, very big lake. It drains the Lillooet River system. Yeah. So we've got some great fly fishing up there yeah. as well. And then you've got the lake. It drains into the Harrison River at 16 yeah. to 25 yeah. kilometers long, depending on who you talk to. And you're uh, on the Fraser River and we're nice. 100 kilometers from the ocean. Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah. So we'll talk about what we're going to be doing today on uh, on the episode. And we're going to do some, it's, it's January. It's January. There's, there's yeah. Nothing really much going on. It's very quiet up here right now. No, uh, you know, we just finished our Christmas light display. Harrison yeah. does a great job with that. Um, and of course, January is our slower time of the year, yeah. but we don't get hard water. So there's no ice fishing here. Yeah. It's it's open year round. Yeah. Um, we're only 30 feet above sea level right here, which a lot of people are surprised. You've got the beautiful mountain backdrops yeah. with the snow in the back. Yeah. Um, but we literally can, can navigate the river every day. The only day we're closed is Christmas day. There you go. Yeah. So sturgeon today. Yeah. So as I've said in my many texts back and forth, we have a slot size I like to catch about, well, anything small, right up to about a foot and a half for me. Everything else is for you. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, we'll see how that ends. <laughs> yeah. I, yeah. I have a feeling that's not going to end well for me or my back, but I'm excited because there's something about catching sturgeon. They're just well, such a cool... Yeah, they're prehistoric. Yeah. They really are. And, yeah. you know, in the Harrison River, we don't see a lot of those small fish, Mike. Uh, yeah. I mean, every once in All a while right. we'll get one a couple feet, Yeah, but often they're they're as big as we are so it's um we'll see what happens take another deep breath yeah it's good yeah i ate my wheaties this morning i'm ready perfect. to go perfect excellent all right let's hop in the boat and go take a boat ride and go catch some fish sounds great all right let's go <coughs> It's a oh, little one, I think, bad. but it's not bad. see, I'm being kind. You are, you are good. I'm being kind. I'm not making you suffer yet. But there's there's that, what we were just talking about. That's a little guy. Oh, uh, you cool. know what? This will be one of the smaller fish I've ever seen in the Harrison. That's okay Very then. cool. Yeah. That's all right. Nice. Well, that's what we were just talking about, that we we're talking a little bit off camera there, but the difference between fishing J hooks versus circle hooks and letting it eat, like, I love the strike. Of a, when you get to fish with J hooks, but you're saying 
during the season, different seasons, there's different applications, right? That's right. Well, the J hooks are great this time of year where the fish are a little bit, you know, they're, they're a little bit not as much on the bait. They're not eating as heavily as they would at other times of the year. Yeah. Nice little fish. Gorgeous. I'm going to lower this sling here. Sure, okay. I'll get and then we'll put them in the sling. These slings are great. They can, you can really, really look after the fish. Yeah. You get some water in the sling. And then that way when we're sampling it. Yeah. Okay. You can really uh, sample it safely, keeping them in water. Very cool. That's a very little fellow for the Harrison. Yeah. Bear. Still, great to see. Yeah. That's, a, that's a good sign of the future right there. So how old do you think that fish is then, Tony? That fish is probably about 10 years old. Okay, wow. And I'm gonna just throw this right back out. Yeah. Because bait in the water is never that a bad thing. That big one's sitting there. That's, so you're up now. See how you, <laughs> see you did that, okay? You kind of set yourself up there by letting me have a little guy there. Well, we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. I would expect to, like, that would be one of the smaller fish I've ever seen in the Harrison yeah. River system. Yeah. Uh, unlike the Fraser River this time of year, a lot of areas will target small fish. Yeah. So, trying to find out what the population's like yeah. on the smaller yeah. fish. Um, the Harrison system, you know, it just doesn't hold small fish. Yeah. We don't think there's a spawning um, experience really on the Harrison. Okay. I, we, don't, we don't think there's an event where okay. they actually spawn in the Harrison itself. Yeah. I don't know if it's because of the clear water, just not the right substrate. Yeah, yeah. But we never see fish much smaller than that in the yeah. river. 76 centimeters. And then right behind the pectoral fins, 30.5 centimeters. Oh, and that's a recap already. Yep. Real day healthy. Look gorgeous. at the patterns on Just that. Just gorgeous, eh? right? Gorgeous looking animals. One of the beauties of the Harrison River is how clear it is. Oh, yeah. There he goes. Drop your anchor. We'll be right back. Maple Ridge Chrysler. We're closer than you think. Well, thanks for going easy on me on that first one, Tony. Oh, you're welcome. Yeah, you gotta get that good warm up now. I'm, yeah. I'm excited to see now. I got the first fish, so I'm excited to see the second fish come in now. Because uh, laws of average are gonna be, it's gonna be the size of your boat. Uh, well, <laughs> let's start with half the size of my yeah. boat. Yeah, this is great though, too. I've, I've been on I've been on the boats where they have the side sling that swing out. Yep. But this is great with the, out the back there. And just this, the, the ability to get right, keep the fish in the water wet, I should say, and keep them wet. Yeah. Just great system, great setups. It does make sense. And it, when we're in heavier currents, we fish this boat yeah. up in the Fraser Canyon quite a bit. Is, and it's really fast currents up in there. And yeah. As soon as you put a sling on the side of your boat, you're putting yourself at risk a little bit with a heavy current if it yeah. digs in. Yeah, I bet, yeah. It could easily roll the I boat bet, over. Yeah. We have several boats that have the side slings, and then we have several boats with the back slings. Yeah. And, you know, depending on the type of boat, there you go. Number, yeah, go hit it right away. Smack it, smack it. You got it. Oh, yeah. A little bigger. Yeah. I thought we'd just discuss this though, Tony. Yeah, but it's still not a big one though. I'm, no. I'm still being nice. All this right, is, this okay. is, you, you've gained about <laughs> 10 centimeters. No, not even 10 centimeters. <laughs> this guy's another smaller one. Oh my goodness. That's all right. This is, this is actually really good information. Yeah. It's, uh, it's not necessarily what we're after. Well, after that's okay. Yeah. But it's okay. Yeah. Oh, he's a little a bit bigger. A lot of people have a theory that in the winter time the sturgeon really stop feeding, but it's just not the case. Yeah. They will, uh, they'll keep feeding all winter in certain locations and certain fish. Oh, yeah. So this will be the second smallest fish you've ever this, seen uh, on the Harrison. Well, no, I, I won't say they were the smallest. I'm saying they're small for the Harrison, yeah. not the smallest in the Harrison. Yeah. So 
Thanks for being such a good conservationist. Yeah, no, hey, no problem. That's it's uh, all for the all for the science here. All for the science, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> just in the spirit of uh, fishing. Yeah. We'll Back. just do this one more time. You never know. So if you look at this fish, a really unique thing about it, I'm gonna pick it up really quick. Sure. But you're gonna see right here, there's a whole other set oh, of scoots wow. coming in. Oh wow. So here, let's hold that up. Yeah. Now it's look like, at the it's right along this 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 middle line here. Yeah, on both sides. Wow, this look how here. sharp those things are. Look at how sharp they are. Yeah. So that's and this is look at how healthy and fatty it is. Oh it gorgeous. Is eating well, looking good. Yeah. Put them back in and we'll just sample them again. What a healthy looking fish. Check them for a tag. Oh. That's a recap. Okay. First of all, to find out where this fish was originally tagged. Yeah. We'll be able to tell, you know, the river kilometer it was caught, and then also the size of it when it was originally caught. Yeah. So we can find out how fast it's growing, where it's traveling, and the and specifically on how fast it's growing, it's so important because. Food source is always a concern in a, in a river system this size with the amount of sturgeon we have, salmon and everything else. So we're looking for a two and a half to four centimeter a year growth on a fish this size. Mm -hmm. So we'll be able to find out if that's on track or how things are and go from there. Awesome, very cool. And you can see them going down. That is the great part about the Harrison. That clar is. The clarity is so neat. Yeah, the Harrison, yeah. Is a, it's a special system. Yeah. It yeah. doesn't hold as many fish as the Fraser River, obviously. But it's a unique system in, yeah. in wood. Yeah. I feel like we're in a nursery here. That's okay. That's this is what I kind of thought we were gonna be doing anyway. To tell you the truth, I thought we were for some reason, and you didn't say anything, it wasn't you. I thought, oh, we'll probably chase a bunch of juveniles, which is great because then you get to learn about stuff. So the fact that we're not really doing it, but we are getting some. Yeah. It's, it's fantastic. It's great. Yeah, it's definitely important. You need a warm up too, you know. You just yeah, can't yeah. you can't you don't go to the gym and start bench pressing five hundred pounds. Well you gotta, you know, hit the treadmill. I don't warm think up, I'm so. ever gonna bench press five hundred no. pounds. But... Neither will I. No, either will I. <laughs> oh look, it's getting windy. Perfect. I like that too. Check your leaders. We'll be right back. Famous Duncan Belange, located in beautiful rivers in Lat BC. That was quick. You didn't want this one, Tony? Ah, uh, you know what, Mike? <laughs> no. Nope. We'll I think we'll leave some of these to you. Well, he's got a bit of a head shake, a little bigger yeah. than the last couple. Although wallowing, so. Yeah. It's bigger he's, than the last he's fish. Got, he's, he's got some weight to him. Wait, wait a minute. You were supposed to have this next fish, Tony. Yeah, but you know, <laughs> we wanted to talk to you about some things and do an interview while you're catching fish. Now I'm going to have to ask you an out of breath question. <laughs> <laughs> so, so here we are, middle of January. Look, the rain stopped, wind stopped. It's actually quite comfortable in the boat. Yeah, well, we have right? the diesel heaters for the wintertime fishery, which yeah. is nice. And you know, we do get some rain in British Columbia, but <laughs> very rarely do we get ice and snow, so you can fish. <laughs> Yeah. Every day except Christmas Day. Yeah. Can't fish Christmas Day. And we were quite quite lucky that you were able to set us up. We get to stay at the Harrison Hotel. We got to enjoy the hot spring pool last night, which is totally relaxing, but a great 
Great cool old hotel, right? Yeah, it has a lot of history. It goes back to the late 1800s. It's, you know, it's got uh, five natural hot springs pools. You get out of your hotel, you walk onto our boats. There's no, there's no travel. You're, you're literally maybe a hundred yards from our, uh, yes. from our docks, which is, is yeah. really a nice thing. Yeah. And the other advantage of fishing this time of year is, you know, today all day, and we've traveled 20 kilometers. We haven't seen a boat. No, there's, there's, there's just nobody, nobody out, out here. here. And a sturgeon on this line, I don't think I was really wanting to tangle with today. I was quite happy with the two you got me before. This yeah. was one I think we talked about, didn't we? Like this, this is, yeah, we did this talk about this. This is the one this. that we said, well, you know, they're, they're fun, but maybe you could play this one, Tony, no? No, no pass it off no. here and that's good. I'm not, not complaining, although I sound like I am. Yeah. It's a workout. Man, these, I just they're strong, aren't they? can't believe how strong these fish are. They're, yeah. they're so cool. Yeah. yeah, so cool. Yeah, there's no question in the middle of summer when the water's a little bit warmer, they might be a little bit more acrobatic. But even this time of year, you know, like, I don't know, you've got about 100 yards of work here to do. I know. Like, I'm, and you're still just going. I'm not judging, I'm just saying. I know, I'm trying. I'm trying to slow him down. He's got to get his head turned. I think it's a pretty good fish. Yeah, I, it is. <laughs> yeah, this current in here is giving him a little bit of an advantage too. Yeah. That's what I'm telling you anyway. Yeah, all right, that's the current, not me. He'll turn around. There he goes, now you got him. He's on the ropes now. <laughs> now just keep him coming. Was that him way back there? Yeah, it was, yeah. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We'll be right back. Introducing HDS Pro. Watch fish reacting to your lure live with Active Target 2. Get game changing clarity in the megahertz range with the new Active Imaging HD sonar. Find the richest fishing spots with CMAPS charts. Take full control of your boat with the ultimate fishing system. HDS Pro. The more you see, the more you catch. I think the biggest one on my show so far is 7.6. Oh, that's a good fish. It was a good fish. Yeah, yeah, it was a good fish. Jeez, Murphy. Did you see him yet? <laughs> <laughs> Have him headed back to the right part of town here. I got a halfway back. He was in Tijuana, Mexico there for a while. I think I got him in California now. So at least we're in the right, He's coming. right area. There you go, sorry, but it's- uh, Yeah, it's okay. It's gonna make you pay a price otherwise. Get that out of your way. Oh. This is gonna be pretty close to your biggest fish. We might go to along the side there. There yep. you go. I'll bet you it's seven feet. Out of the way here. Thank you. Brought to break in the water. Oh, there's a nice fish over there. That's right, just like that. Work him hard so he doesn't get underneath that anchor. I know it's easier said than done, but again, yep. your problem, not mine. <laughs> Reel right down, it's underneath the boat, so you gotta go around the back and go really wide, really, really wide, which is hard. Here you go. Nice work. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> he or she does not like you very much. No. You should see him now. 
right coming up. There he is. Oh, nice he fish. Smokes. That's going to be six and a half feet anyway. Fantastic looking fish. The sling is a fantastic thing, but in the current, you have to get that fish just nose pointed the right way. And then convince them to join us. Like that. Holy. <laughs> it's a nice Ooh. looking fish. Well done. What do you think? What? Not bad for winter. The heck. Tony. That's a beast. I That's even, a good I, fish. I can't even breathe still. You okay. Him? Yeah. Are you there? Yeah. Okay. So right against the body. Yeah. You've got 218 centimeters. 218 by 87. Nice fish. Let's see. It's got a tag. There it is. And we'll find some history on this fish for you too, Mike, okay, after. Cool. Nice fish. Look at that. Look, isn't that a beautiful fish? Yeah. So that's a fairly average growth curve, length and girth. Yeah, along the way. So that tells us that it's been feeding roughly the same amount in between recaptures. Yeah. And then body curve fits right in the middle of the graph as well. Well, if it's still growing the same amount in between recaptures, and it is being caught once in a while, um, you know, it's, it's, it's showing that it's still healthy. Yeah. It's still traveling. Yeah. It's still doing all the things it did in its history. Yeah. We didn't understand before the movement of these fish. Yeah. Some of them really travel. Some of them seem to stay local to yeah. one area. Yeah. It's almost like people. Some people like the small town and never leave. Others want to go see the world. Come on, Mike. Fight, Mike. Can we jump? Can we jump? Land the boat. All oh, right, on. That's a nice size fish. That's the perfect one, Tony. Thank you. You're welcome. Well, Tony, like it's getting to be that time, huh? It is, yeah. A couple of good days in the water, but yeah. uh, the sun goes down a little earlier this time of year. Yeah, so. yeah. we yeah. lucked out again Absolutely. today. Yeah. We had some, some great opportunities, some nice fish, beautiful weather. Yeah. The company wasn't too bad either. It's good. Yeah, it was all right. Yeah, it was all right. Good. Swapping some fishing stories, which is always fun. Absolutely. And again, super comfortable. Like this is, I don't mind doing this. Like, well, but you got the heater going in the the boat, and this is nice. The big, big deck. area in this, yeah. the back here. We got the, you know, this is kind of cool. You got the accessibility with the ramps here for. for yeah, it's great if it. you're in a chair, or even if you just have a bit of a mobility yeah. issue. It's just easier to get yeah. in and off the boat. So. Yeah, yeah, but it's been a great, yeah. uh, a great experience. We had a couple nights at the hotel, some great meals at the, in the community there and stuff, and. Uh, yeah, I can't thank you enough for having oh, us. Oh, you're welcome. It was a yeah. real pleasure having you. I know we've Absolutely. been talking about it. We'll have to do this again. We will. We'll, yeah, we'll, we'll find another uh, unique location and yeah. have some fun. Yeah. Well, thanks again, Tony. You're welcome. All right. Yeah. And thank you folks for joining us on BC Outdoor Sport Fishing. We look forward to having you join us on a future episode. Mm -hmm.